Now let us connect compound interest with geometric sequence and solve some questions. Question here is Anil opens an account that pays compound interest annually. The table shows the annual balance for this investment at the end of fourth and fifth year. How much will this investment be worth after 10 years? So as we learn, compound interest is kind of geometric sequence, right? Since the money grows by a factor, and from that factor we can also find interest rate. So these are the things which we learned in previous videos. Now we'll apply this knowledge and solve the given question. What we are given here is, at the end of four years, the balance was 1262.48, and at the end of fifth year, the balance is 1338.22. We are also given that the investment is being accumulated and compound interest is being paid. Now, if there is a compound interest, then these terms should form a part of geometric sequence, right? So in that case, we should get a ratio from these two, and that ratio should be maintained. So let's find the ratio first. So 1338.22 divided by 1262.48 gives us the rate of growth per year. Now, we, we call that growth factor. So it is 1338.22 divided by 1262.48, 1.0599. So this could be approximated to 1.06. Now that is the growth factor by which the amount is being multiplied. So every year is being multiplied by 1.06. Now we need to find how much will this investment be worth after 10 years. So let us say we start from fourth year, right? Then in the fifth year, it is fourth year times 1.06, right? Now in the sixth year, how much will it be? If we start with fourth year, then be 1.06 square times the fourth year or 1.06 times the fifth year, right? So like this, if we go to 10 years, then from 4 to 6, it is how many years? 4 to 6, 10 minus 4 is 6. And therefore, the factor should be 1.06 to the power of 6. Do you see that? That should give us the amount. So, the amount should be 1262.48 times 1.06 to the power of 6. Let's figure it out. It is 1262.48 times 1.06 to the power of 6, which is equal to 1790.852. So write 0.85. So that should be the amount after 10 years, which we can find by first finding the growth factor. So every year the amount grows by a factor of 1.06. So if we start multiplying every amount by 1.06, the previous amount by 1.06, we get the next amount, right? So that is how we can apply the geometric sequence concept and get the solution to this kind of a question, correct? So that's how we should be solving it. Thank you.